What's happening, Anoka? I'm Madeline Hoppenrath. And I'm Mackenzie Sewell. Today is Wednesday, May 16th. Tomorrow is our senior breakfast during first period. Seniors, you need to pick up your cap and gown, grab your yearbook if you purchase one, clean your locker, and eat breakfast during this time. To receive your cap and gown, you need to have all fines, fees, detentions, lunch accounts, and overdue books taken care of. Don't wait till last minute. The school year is winding down, and with that, we have seniors who need your help for senior projects. Ethan Steffen, Jordan Olson, and Garrett Berg are putting together badminton for books, a badminton tournament to collect as many books as possible for students in Africa. If you have a partner and would like to enter the tournament on May 21st, simply bring two books per team. Check with Ethan, Garrett, or Jordan for more information. Madison King and Grant Peltier are doing a senior project on awareness for sex trafficking. They are selling bracelets for $2 as well as hosting a guest speaker with all of the proceeds going to Breaking Free, a nonprofit organization. They will be selling bracelets until May 23rd. On May 22nd, the Anoka Marching Band will be having its first practice slash meeting in the band room from 6 to 8 p.m. It is a day for returning members to have some practice for anyone who might be interested in checking it out. The marching band doesn't turn anyone away. They will help if you want to learn how to play a new instrument. They will be helping people if they want to be in color guard, wind section, drum line, and pit. Continuing with our promotion for the senior projects, Noelle Josephson and Lexi Scherer are doing a senior project to spread the word to end the word. Please help them end the R word by buying a bracelet that say, spread the word to end the word for $2. You can find either of them in the halls during passing time. Lily Shocknet, Justine Watson, Casey Einsteck, and Jake and Jenna Phipps are selling water bottle stickers to raise money for sex trafficking awareness. The stickers will be sold for three bucks and you can buy them at any time from those seniors named above until May 25th. Senior t-shirts will be on sale during lunches. T-shirts will sell for $20 or two for $35. This will go on while supplies last. Remember seniors, you should wear your t-shirts to the senior breakfast tomorrow. It's time to take a look at the weather forecast. The weather today is sponsored by the Senior Countdown, which will be at 9 after today. Here's Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, Mackenzie. It's going to be a warm and beautiful day with sunshine and high of 86 degrees. It will stay warm tonight with a low of 60. Tomorrow looks great with a high of 82. That's the word of back to you, Madeline. Thanks, Michelle. Well, if you missed the speech info meeting yesterday, you missed a lot. Here are some of the highlights. Parkour! Parkour! Yeah! Extreme! Extreme! Parkour! This is Parkour, internet sensation of 2004. And it was in one of the Bond movies too. It's pretty impressive. The goal is to get from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So technically they're doing parkour as long as point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. Parkour! Parkour! All go as a group, or we go one at a time. How about this? Jump onto the refrigerator box, 360 spin onto the birthday futon, backflip gainer into the trash can. Yeah, gainer! Yeah! Hardcore parkour! Woo! Parkour! Wow, that looked intense. If you are interested in joining speech and miss the meeting, you can come to the writing session tomorrow night after school in the LARC lab. It's time to take a look at sports and activities. And with that, here's Will. Thanks, Madeline. Congratulations to Coach Jermaine, his staff, and the Anoka Boys track team for winning the True Section Team event. There will be a pep fest in their honor on Friday during first hour. This is an extremely hardworking group of talented student athletes. Please show up to support this group. Competitive dance team tryouts continue today in the Fieldhouse. Tryouts will be held from 6.30 to 6 p.m. each day and run through Thursday. If you have not registered yet but are interested in attending, come down to the Fieldhouse to join us for tryouts today. Need, for, need more information first? Contact Coach Heidemann at anokawinterdance at gmail.com. 
Congratulations to Lars Rostad of the boys lacrosse team who was nominated for Player of the Week. Please go and vote for Lars at mnlaxhub.com. The boys are at home tonight against Andover at 7 p.m. The baseball team is on the road today against Armstrong. It's been a nice couple of days off for the baseball team as they look to finish strong this season. The softball team did not get rained out Monday as first reported as they were able to get the win versus Park Center. Sections start next week. That's it for sports and activities. Madeline? Thanks, Will. Before we go, today is National Juice Slushy Day. The idea for this amazing summer drink actually came from the royal courts from back in the day who actually take freshly fallen snow and cover it with fruit and eat it. That could be all right, depending on where you get your snow. And you know what? Actually, don't do that. That doesn't sound good. I don't trust it. Great, Madeline. Let me just go ahead and write that down. That's totally newsworthy. Madeline hates snow. That's groundbreaking stuff. Today's lunch is mini corn dogs. That's the news. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Madeline. Have a slushy, Anoka.